Hi everyone, welcome back to Through Alchemy. So let's see what's today's message. So I'm picking up on something about regrets and how this person thought that you guys would end up together and like get married and have the white picket fence and all sorts of things like that. But this one's making me feel like they kind of fumbled the ball. We have the Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. So, um, I think it's possible that, you know, their approach was very casual and maybe i just heard the word perverted it doesn't have to be that you know they were acting like that it could just be that maybe they were you know with the nine of swords and the ace of wands it could be that they were not talking to you and they were really holding back but you knew that there was a lot of sexual interest and i think that this person messed things up because they were looking for fun or ease that's what i'm gonna say ease ease is what i'm picking up so whoever you're dealing with has uh, this issue with commitment has this problem with taking people seriously the omen is that you know you could see the signs that this person is not a 100 percent faithful person or you had your own doubts and this one's like hurting in my throat so it could be that they're a really bad communicator they just don't know how to talk or they could be rude they could be or they could simply just not reply when you're messaging them or they would take a really long time they're just a really bad communicator and We have union, money, and destiny. So this person was looking really for the real deal. It's a really kind of annoying and stupid how they behave towards you because with uh, the money, the union, and the destiny, definitely there was, you know, the union card does say um, serious relationship, partnership, and marriage. And destiny says luck, luck chance meant to be. And then money also says luck. So they did feel like they did, uh, you know, um, hit some good luck when they met you. But it's like, I feel like this person just ended up showing you what they really are, the reality of it. Because this person's reality was a sum of the way that they feel about themselves. So I don't think it was very far from the truth or how this person really wanted to behave. The devil and now this person's like sad and all pouty about the fact that they gave it away then you know this is how they are and they feel really stupid about how they behaved with you that's kind of been a theme in a lot of readings lately it's it's really stupid you know that's the real word that i keep getting for the like the most appropriate word because we have the three of wands the hierophant or the emperor in reverse and the lo lovers no the two of cups sorry i'm just a little bit i'm still trying to tap into this energy the lovers has this image where two fountains two cups are making a fountain it tells me that there was somewhere where a lot of energy was coming towards you, but it was not being vocalized because this person was really controlling themselves. And they could be quite a mean person, you know, like uptight and mean and always showing you the cold shoulder, but then stalking you and you're just like, what's wrong with you, brother? What's wrong with you? And the page of wands with the devil, this is Capricorn energy, which tells me that they did really like you. And I think that it was quite a lot at the physical front in the beginning.
Four of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Wands. They think you're so tired of their bullshit. Like, it's not about your strength or the fact that you can't, um, you know, keep up with things. I think it's a lot about... Um, anybody would get tired, you know? Anybody would get tired of somebody's sabotaging patterns. Anybody would get tired of this. So we have the fairy. You're a badass. Keep winging it. Darling, don't you remember? You're a badass. Fairy blessings flow magically in energy. So they see where someone that's paving their own path. You're just like, oh, fuck you. You know? And they genuinely feel like you're like, oh, just let this person be. Yeah. Because, you know, you know their mess. And you don't know if... This connection is going to move forward or not. You don't really know that. But the thing is, you deep down want them to show up. Maybe, maybe you still, but you're trying to kill that hope is what I feel. You're trying to be a tough cookie about it. I've cried over you. I think both of you have cried over each other. And it's not easy, you know. You feel like home to me because there was something, you know, karmic and soul me to you over here and you really hope that this is not like the previous people but you are the only person that truly gets me so i think something about your traumas or your childhoods were pretty similar so the both the ways in which both of you behaved really resonated with each other because you knew what this person is doing and why they're doing it so i think that's where you felt like either this is a, this is an amazing love story this could be the one or this is another karmic so there was no in between and you kind of realize i don't think this is the the end of this connection i don't think that because your person seems like if you're resonating with this i feel like this person is like really keen on coming back i can feel your desire for me i want to take a trip with you nothing else matters but you my heart belongs to you. I've been dreaming of you. It's still not over, boo. Boo. It's not over. Boo. Oh my god, I'm so weird. Eighth house. Endings and beginnings. Nine of swords. This also says sex and death. Past life information. Evaluation of life choices. Change must be completed before moving ahead. Oh, oh damn. This is kind of like you've got to wrap up the cycles both of you are in before you can actually have a chance. But you know, there's this energy that I keep feeling. If you're especially a woman or the feminine energy, or you're the one that has been done wrong in the situation. You're just like, I am not dealing with this person anymore. That's what I really feel. I'm not dealing with this one. So I really do feel like this person definitely has gained some um, sense. The eight of swords could be your energy, could be theirs in the moment. They do feel like, yeah, with the tower in reverse, what what possibly could go more wrong? That's what they think. Um, and this is um, kind of like rhetoric. They're like, what possibly could you do more wrong to them? What possibly could you fuck up more? You know, that's the energy that I feel. This person is like... You could do more, but what possibly could you do more? That's the energy that I pick up with this person. They're kind of like, they know that they are capable of doing more. I'm going to be very honest. The energy that I pick up is like, they know that they're capable of doing more, but they're just like, you really need to shut up and just stay away for this time, for, for this time being, because you really, really mess things up. It's like, whenever you try to talk to this person or whenever you're together, they do something really weird, which shows you they're not open. And it's like, it's like a brain fart or something you know like they do stupid things and they get really triggered around you because this person has a very strong fear of rejection the page of wands this is the eight of pentacles in reverse so even right now they're not really doing anything about it and they feel pretty shameless about that two of swords i get this energy of shame like you're so shameless and you're so stubborn and you're so rigid and she's such a sweet lady or you know a person and why you're doing this to them they don't know why they're behaving the way they are the sun so leo energy they just don't understand why they are the way they are i 
I just feel like maybe if you even show up in their dreams, it's there is astral communication because there's two types of dreams. One that is um, a manifestation or just a hint of your own subconscious psyche. And the other one is where you're actually astral traveling. So it's possible that, you know, you are traveling to this person because you are not done. Somewhere deep inside, you know that you're still connected, but you deeply want to be done with this situation, right? You want to be done with it. You want to clear it out. Yeah, I'm seeing coffee beans, palate cleanser, right? We have inner journey in reverse. So you think this person is not capable of change. I hate to break it to you, but they are. Now, that is not an invitation to, you know, welcome them back in your life. But you should know that they are changing. Some things at a very small level, okay. Um, but they are changing. Beloved radical acceptance. So, the first part of their healing journey, my bad, their healing journey is that this person has to... Um, accept their weirdness right what weird things that they do they want you but they don't let you get close to them and they don't talk to you properly that's like some serious discrepancy or dysfunctionality in what you want and the way you behave towards it right so this person has understood that about themselves i'm seeing something about a red lip young female youthful music fashion so this came in reverse well, they might think that you are, you know, kind of out of your flings and um, fun era. You're really down to business and you might be of, um, you know, prime age, whatever you'd like to call it. I'm picking up on 30s or 40s for some of you. Past love and friendship in reverse. So this also gives me the energy that if they were friends with an ex or if they were friends with these hookups and all these things, it makes me feel like they're thinking about it. I don't think a lot has been done on that front, but I think that they're thinking about the fact that they need to let these people go out of their life. I'm seeing somebody keeping a Snapchat streak with somebody. So it's possible that sense is kicking into them that, you know, you got to let go of these people like energetically and physically as well. Sexual energy, they could have had. Do you know, one thing I've noticed about people that do have sexual encounters is that they never let go of the other person. They keep those people around, not probably in a roster, but they leave always that door open because one day if they just want to have fun with them or just have a good time with them, good time cannot always be sexual. It could just be that you're looking for a safety net. Um... When people keep you in a safety net, I'm not at all saying that this is their energy towards you. If you decide to move on, you should completely cut the cord and you should completely like just be done with it. Um, that's what I believe. That's just how I move. But I think that they're kind of telling me about what this person was doing. Is they would just keep a little bit of a window open so that once the person that they're chasing, they don't get that, they fall back on these safety options. So people that always need people around, people that always need options are the ones that are the most scared of being alone. And it doesn't matter if they show up to be dismissive or void, it still means that they are scared to be alone, right? So it's possible your person was doing that, keeping many options around it. I cannot 100% say that for all of you, this was a sexual energy, but it is predominantly quite sexual. It could be that, you know, they were just participating in this or um, just having fun or just the idea of keeping, you know, safety nets. So we have, I can't wait for the day we start living our life together. So this person is imagining and somewhere I feel like very strongly trying to manifest a relationship with you and i think that the more that they're manifesting this the more hurdles they're facing because it's requiring them to become a person that is good enough to be in a relationship right so this person is having to really really see and clean the closet you know um, pisces i believe hangman subconscious beliefs everything that holds them back from a real relationship you and this person currently are at different levels especially concerning considering vibration because maybe the past two months you have really worked your ass off in doing some energetic healing work and inner child work whereas this person that point was running away from this connection so it's possible that now it's their turn okay so we have premonition you have some sort of inkling about this person is going to come back or when they're going to come back or you asked a specific psychic or somebody you asked somebody what's up um 
and they told you someday or you just have a feeling that they're gonna come back perception in reverse however your perception towards this person is I get that the circumstances do point to a situation but it makes me feel like there is something deeper to this situation this person is not as bad as they present themselves to be or they've behaved but then again i'm not sitting here to convince you because you have already had your experience with this person right so it's not like i want to convince you but i do feel like there's your perception towards them is quite tainted you don't exactly know who this person is and there is you know goodness in them and there is um scope for change and prosperity in this connection that's what i feel but again this is not at all to say that you need to invite them back in your life because maybe right now they need to sit with themselves and they need to deal with all their own pain without making it your burden because when people make that burden yeah the rebirth card when people don't do the work because they have a romantic partner it's like they become complacent and so then when people don't pull their weight in a relationship you're the one that can actually do more tends to do the work of two people and that's what i think you are being saved from okay so i'm gonna conclude this with a few channel messages we have i want to marry you one day again there's so much like I want to be with you, baby. I want to be with you. You're the one for me. I'm hearing that song. I just don't. I want to be your hero, baby. That cheesy song. Okay, so I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope this finds the person that it was meant for. And I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye-bye.